Moshi Moshi my Ami Gamers and welcome back to Honkai Star Whale. It's been a great amount of effort to get the me controlled by the family to, s to send you to this dump. Not much here look helpful and the weather's been a nightmare but hey, the managers ain't half bad. Those son of a nice lady caused the locus also some serious chills pills. Today we're gonna continue doing continuous story quest. Okay, Bullet Heel, let's go this way. I'll ask you one last time. Do you have any taste at all? This place is useless sitting here empty, but if we put a slumber nana statue here and build a plaza, it'll instantly become a landmark of Dreamflux Reef. We'll be able to get ahead of the family again. It doesn't matter what you say. You can't just stake your claim on this place. No one's going to accept that. Then who should we listen to? Micah hasn't said anything. There's no reason to delay! I'm going to put this here today, or... Uh, who are you? Uh, come off it, partner. I ain't even said anything yet. Uh, I, I don't care what beef y'all got. Just, uh... Make way, will ya? So what? You hired this guy to be your thug? Uh, no. I, I, I don't know this man either. But thug or no? Our position isn't going to change. Then I'm done playing nice. Ah, fork in hell. <laughs> you hard a hearing or something? Oh. Do I have to let my gun do the talking? Say fucking hell next time. Oh, now you're scared. All right then. Hope you're ready to get shot. Am There's I no seriously? need for that, sir. Okay, good. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. Please. Put your gun away. I'm afraid that's too much excitement for those of us who have already died once. Who are you now? What kind of show are they running here? <sighs> Forget it. The world's complicated enough as it is, but my bullets will make things real simple. Act first, think later. You bet your fork and bananas I'm teaching all of you a lesson today. <laughs> you said bananas! <sighs> Wait a sec. Fudge was that? Bet your bananas would have... When the bananas did I start saying fudge and bananas? Uh-oh. I think he's... Just like us. Bananas. Uh, um... Son of a... Banana. Oh, what the banana fudge and sundae? <sighs> That's My God, fucking weird. I thought weird. you don't get involved in these matters. I'm just putting up a decoration everyone likes. I'm not hurting anybody! First, I find it hard to believe that everyone likes those monkeys. Second, I just happened to be passing by. I saw a friend and came to say hello. Friend? That's right. Though, truth be told, I don't remember your name anymore. I've met too many people over the last few years, but I still remember those eyes. This is great. Everyone can make their own dreams here. That's what you said when you first arrived. Your eyes gleamed with spirit. Don't forget the aspirations you once had. <sighs> Do you have to say these things out in the open? You need to fix your bad habit of lecturing people. There's a reason why things become popular. You'll understand someday. But fine. <laughs> I'll back off for today. I'll be back. Let's go. Uh, hold on! You banana my Sunday! Oh, forget it! Guess I could afford to say less. Uh, hey, um, where are you going? Let them be. At the very least, they harbor no ill will towards you. And they certainly don't have the courage to do anything anyway. Right, Mr. Ranger? <laughs> Finally. Someone sensible. Mm-hmm. I say, okay, by now, the hell you want? I know what you want to ask. A Galaxy Ranger's gunshot rings loud and clear. And Dreamflux Reef isn't so isolated that we don't hear what's going on outside our walls. Well, it's good to know I didn't waste my shot, but, uh, gotta say, <laughs> I've seen it all now. The atmosphere here is real strange. I mean, statues, monkeys. Oh, it's just a fad among youngsters. If you ask me, it's even stranger that a galaxy ranger is in Dreamflux Reef. Are you here chasing evil or settling a grudge? You don't gotta beat around the bush. 
can't you just tell by looking at me? Banana Sunday. Yeah, everything's bananas. I came here to help someone. And now I'm the biggest ruckus around here. Son of a banana, just tell me what's going on with that monkey. Oh my god. <sighs> it wasn't that long ago, but they arrived just as suddenly as you did. Huh? Did I miss something? Who's they? They call themselves Assistant Annas. They look like the Sweet Dreams troop, except much stranger. They came here to advertise something called the Slumber Nana Monkey. Hmm. Oh Maybe it's goodness. the appearance yeah, with that too. cultural significance. Just like every other thing that was once trendy. I don't have an opinion on Slumber Nana Monkey. The young people love it. Well, the real problem is the level of fanaticism it creates. You saw the group from before. They grew obsessed with the monkey and formed their own society. I think it's called the Slumbered Anna Association. They run publicity campaigns all across Dreamflux Reef under its banner. And they're not very friendly. Oh, yeah. those self-proclaimed banana maniacs just now? No one's tried to stop them? Uh, fads come and go. It's not all that unusual even in Dreamflux Reef, so I didn't see a reason to intervene. Besides, for a very long time, this was the only place in Penacony that had some freedom. Some things just shouldn't be changed. <laughs> Fine by me. If you won't deal with it, somebody else will. The Slumber Nana Association, huh? <laughs> Appreciate the tip, partner. One moment, Mr. Ranger. You haven't answered my question from earlier. Are you here chasing evil? We're settling a grudge. <laughs> Do I look like some kind of madman to you? <sighs> the answer is both. Any more than that is none of your business. <sighs> you still worried about something? <sighs> Tell you what, buddy. Go to Jesse's shop next door. There's a tab for seven drinks. Settle that. Consider my behavior here bought and paid for. Seven drinks? It may not be much, but it's still malt juice. I never break a promise to those who treat me. You can bet on that. The first time I met someone like that, I let myself get shot rather than betray him. Mm -hmm. Betrayal? Uh, anyways, now we're gonna go this way as we heal. We're gonna shoot this. A boom! Yes, money. Now, are we just going up here? Ooh, I guess they're more bullshit now. You're not making things easy here. You say you're a Slumber Nana Monkey fan, but you can't even answer any of my questions. Wait, wait, I just slipped my mind for a moment. I think I got it. Number 20 is, is, may all see the world for what it is, an arc waxing into perfection. What nonsense are you spouting? You'd best go home for now. The events we're holding over the next few days aren't like any other. Jumping on the bandwagon isn't going to nab you an entrance ticket. Hmm. Like, what is going on? Anyways, association? Hold it right there. Here for the Slumber Nana Association event, sir? Got your membership card with you? I'll need your member ID. What the banana Sunday are you talking about? Uh, what? Another bandwagoner? <clears throat> Exit's over there, sir. Never mind. We It'll don't be. welcome anyone but true fans of Slumber Nana Monkey here. Uh, listen, buddy. Oh, shit. Uh, don't make me repeat myself. I love me some bananas. <laughs> Goodness, God! Need to be. P put the gun down, sir. We can talk this out without going bananas. I gather you're keen on checking out the event? Well, that's fine and all, but I can't just let you in. If you're really interested, why not start off by learning more about Slumber Nana Monkey? Like that gal from just now. Gotta give a passphrase just to get through this door. No, it, it wasn't a passphrase, but an entrance test to become a member of the society. We're hosting an incredibly important event inside, after all. Everybody wants to be a part of it. <laughs> Sounds impressive. Sign me up, partner. Uh, it's a lot harder than it sounds. You won't be able to pass the test unless you're an expert on Slumber Nana Monkey. I might as well give it a shot. Gotta be easier than breaking my way in. Fine. The Slumber Dan Association is always happy to make more friends. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, which of these questions would you like to start with? I was just gonna do this. 
Okay. Um. Okay, Slub Banana Association membership. Um, Hana City. Oh, banana, my Sunday. What kind of questions are these? Uh, looks like you're completely clueless about Slumber Nana. These are pretty much no-brainers, you know. Sorry, I, but I can't let you in for now. Partner, you're in luck. If this were my own business, I'd be making my way through by other means. But since I'm just lending a hand, I can't go raising too much ruckus. Okay, we'll do things your way. How hard can a few questions be anyway? Oh boy, let's see, we're doing it. Um, uh, no. <gasps> Robin! Oh my god, it's my Robin! We run, we stride. Miss Robin, am I singing it right? Mm hmm. You're doing wonderfully. That reminds me. Shall I give you a checkup? You learn fast. But this is an advanced singing technique after all. It won't do if you don't take good care of your throat. Oh, she's doing it. Uh, is something the matter, Miss Robin? Uh, nothing's wrong. I was just worrying too much. Everything is looking good. I can't believe I just ran into a superstar. Oh In my a god. place like this, too. People shit them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Are you too dating? Okay. This big brother here is a good man. Why don't you go and have fun somewhere else for now? Big bother. Um, I said a one. <laughs> maybe I should have just kept it at Mister. Would that have been better? In any case, Mister Boothill, it seems you put your travels on hold after that incident too. Are you enjoying your time in Penacony? Enjoying? <laughs> More like going bananas. <laughs> bananas? Oh, God! I just can't catch a break. Mr. Boothill, you... Uh -huh. Hang on. Sorry. Please keep still for a moment. She's waiting. She's checking. I think she's touching his abs. Her touching her abs. Like, God damn, Boothill! What in the f hell are you doing? Touching you? Oh. <laughs> Holy sh balls, I'm back to normal. No! <laughs> back to being very friendly cuss words. No, just say fuck, dude. Both easier. I knew it. There's a noise around Mr. Boothill, too. Too? Sounds like you've encountered this before. So, what in tarnation's going on with all this bananas business? I wish I could tell you. But I still haven't figured out what it is. I've been visiting this place a lot lately. To teach the children how to sing. Giving up one's sweet dreams takes resolve. So it's my wish that music can bring them some solace. But as time passed, I started to notice something increasingly... off about the Dreamflux Reef. <laughs> Slumber Nana Monkey. As I expected. It's come to your attention too. The memoria nearby has been mutating ever since Slumber Nana Monkey gained popularity. Even though the noise doesn't cause any tangible impact, it leaves me feeling awfully drained every time I use the power of harmony for tuning. I can't explain it. Other than that, I also paid a visit to the Slumber Nana Association. <sighs> I swung by that place too. They let you join up. Probably not. They didn't, unfortunately. Yep. He's like, me too, Anyone sweetheart. who wishes to become part of the Summer Nana Association must undergo onerous entrance procedures before they can become one of them. Besides, even if I did succeed in infiltrating them, I would stand out too much. It makes more sense for me to focus on studying the noise instead. So you didn't pass the test either, huh? Well, don't change the fact that I still gotta get in one way or another. Got any bright ideas? I can offer a few ideas on places you can make inquiries at. But why the sudden is something going on in Penacony? Uh, long story. I'll fill you in once I have more concrete details. But first, I have to pass that entrance test by hook or by crook. Hmm. 
making inquiries, you say? Not a bad idea. <laughs> Heck, I, uh, why couldn't I be a fan of Slumber Man a Monkey? <laughs> and tough guys exploring their soft side are a thing these days. If all else fails, I got an easier solution to fall back on. I can just borrow a membership card from those little fudge heads scrapping over turf earlier. Oh. Uh, easy peasy. Yes, easy peasy. No, I'm gonna exile the creepy with Robin. <laughs> My goodness. I'm gonna start with the one that's so far. You guys. Fuck off! <laughs> yeah, I killed others by one of them. So many monkeys, what the hell? I'm the three. Welcome! Welcome! A slumber nana monkey toy for you, mister! I made it myself! Don't worry, I'm not taking any money for it! I'm with Robin. Do I look Ooh. like someone who placed that monkey beside my pillow? This is literally like a date. Well, you never know. You look really cute after all. What? Ah, uh, you. <laughs> what? You just call me cute in front of Robin? Robin's gonna murder you. Hello? Uh, are you going to simp? Oh my, I was just listening to your newest album. What brings you to Dreamflux Reef? I've been frequenting this place lately, actually. We just hadn't crossed paths until now. Don't worry, you'll be seeing me around these parts for a while more. After all, the Slumber Nana Association's entrance test doesn't seem that easy. The Slumber Nana Association? Are, are you planning on becoming a member? I must be dreaming! Two of my favorite things together! Uh, I must be the luckiest man alive! We got a simp! Uh, if it's and she's black! One, then of course we must make an exception and let you in! You don't have to give me special treatment. I'm just a normal person. Like every other Slumber Nana Monkey fan out there. But you know what they say! Good things come in pairs! There's no harm in making a concession sometimes. Here! Bring this with you the next time you head over. They'll know what to do once they see it. And don't worry, we're still playing by the book. This is just to keep them from making things difficult for you. Yeah, sure. Uh, Robin, ain't this weird how she's acting? Yes, that's a real guy. I mean, that man. Woman! I can't even speak as she. She is. Why is she acting like a simp? And I got a boyfriend next to me who's a robot? I'm half human after all, but how can you fuck with me? Oh, yeah, you got a detachment on me. Great! Anyways, um, hey. <laughs> to be honest, I am absolutely clueless when it comes to songwriting. This song was taken from somewhere else, but the first time I heard it, I knew immediately that it was the perfect song for telling Slumber Nana Monkey's story, so I wrote new lyrics for it. This is The Slumber Nana Traveler. I hope you find it appealing. I've wandered far, I've wandered wide with Slumber Nana Monkey. Its voice so clear, its voice so bright, tells me to remember. Can I sp kick the fucker her up and go ahead? When you're tired, take a rest. Take a break, it's for the best. Life grows beautiful for those who will forfeit it all. They're even singing about it now. So, uh, what's your expert opinion on this? I love it. A song finds meaning in its existence. Only when it can be sung by anyone and everyone. No matter how hard or tough an ordeal is, I can never take song away from the people. Yeah. Um, anyway, you sound ugly. Boom! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go away here? Why is the people here? Huh. I guess I- Yeah, I'm going to hold because why not? The fan was violate the guidelines for Subalana Monkey fan cushion due to exceeding ex ex nature. Sorry for violation, this place- This palette wasn't meant for a publication, but I really love it, so I decided to show here. Please don't wish me to work here work without permission. You may have cross, uh, cross, come across similar other legends somewhere. Dream of the Evil, a scary monkey show, or something like that. In those tales, a person often finds themselves aboard a public vehicle in the dream, where an oddly shaped monkey begins to share a murder countdown, then brutally murder the person seated in front of 
the front of Parker's in all sorts of terrifying ways, well by well. The she hole of the means to kill surpass all possible human imaging requires torture. It sought a profound sense of horror that jolts the dreamers awake. However, the invalid finds themselves returning once again to the unsettling nightmare, with the menacing monkey drawing ever closer each time. Eventually, the pregnancy becomes so terrifying of sheep that the story reaches an awkward conclusion. A friend of mine at the Subbanana Association experienced a similar dream, but the monkey and her nightmare were much gladier. They cheerfully deserve food to the passengers, the inspiration bright and inviting. However, with each interval of the dream, the number of the food would increase. Take the apples, for example. That's to say, there's one apple per person in the first dream, then three apples per person in another, and so it goes. You can easily picture the outcome, right? As more and more food plied up, someone would eventually be unable to eat them all. However, the monkey showed no concern, smiling at the insistence to each passenger. Be sure to finish them, or something terrible will happen. But how could anyone possibly finish such an ever increasing number of foods? In the end, my friend saw the congress faced by the fellow traveler who faced to eat the foods. You might think I'm about to recall glory details in the grimmer manner, but what happened was even earlier and more horrific. They were just using every method they can be forced with forced the victim to eat all the foods, adding up to all the end. The members the numbers each up into a terrible thousand. I mean ultimately no one can really say if the people that ate the food or the food that ate the people. It has been three months since I last saw that friend. Alright Robin, because it's like an early date we are going now I'm gonna talk to this guy Huh? Do you need something else? Uh uh, what do I look like takes the entrance test? Oh, um, entrance test. I remember you. Last minute cramming isn't going to help, you know. Don't worry. I'm a monkey expert now. About as much as I'm a master marksman. Ask away. If you say so. You're taking the Slumbernana Association way too lightly, if you ask me. But here goes. What tiers make up the Slumbernana Association's membership hierarchy? Oh shoot, the one that's golden. Human derivation apes. Which of the following is most likely to be a famous quote by Slumber Nana Monkey? Life goes beautiful for those who first it all. Bingo! On to the last question now. Although the Slumber Nana Association has never banned any derivative works inspired by Slumber Nana, what kind of derivative works should you refrain from creating? Creepy or scary ass stuff. Exactly! That's the most despicable form of slander. Congratulations, you passed! That was impressive. This way, sir. Em, em. Let's go, partner. Time to see what those troublemakers are capable of. You just call of. a partner. I'm afraid it won't be wise for us to continue our investigations together, Mr. Goodhill. He's like, why not, Robin? What do you mean? If you're hoping to keep a low profile, my presence will only be a burden, Mr. Boothill. Moreover, if you intend to employ... certain means of doing things, it'll be for the better if I'm not around. <laughs> As expected of one in a seat of power in the family. You're a lot sharper than you let on. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. It'll be prudent for one of us to stay on the outside. <sighs> Strange. They're linked, but this place... I don't detect any noise here. The answer's simple. The gun may fire, but it's the bullet that does the killing. So, Mr. Boothill, I'm familiar with the Galaxy Rangers and their exploits, as well as with the entities they pursue. For you to stop here, something must be happening in Dreamflux Reef. Hey, don't be a stranger. You can just call me partner. Yeah. <sighs> monkeys. Monkeys. More monkeys. They're all muddle fudging monkeys. Evil ninja Osaru. That doggone muddle fudger. This is way too familiar, side for comfort. Things better not turn out the way Rappa feared they would. Gotcha. Well, I'll leave things out here to you then. Oh, thanks for all the help so far. You're too kind. I should be thanking you instead. You have my gratitude for offering your assistance, Mr. Boothill. You live up to the name of a Galaxy Ranger, indeed. 
<laughs> this ain't my turf. So let me just make some things clear. I don't give a f behind about people doing good or evil. <laughs> Whatever's about to unfold in that little club full of sherpa brains is no different from the usual stuff I do elsewhere. He discussed. Things ain't gonna be pretty, but justice will be served. And that's all I care about. I see. Then, I wish you all the best. As for me, I will try to trace the noise to its source. We'll see each other again later, Mr. Boothill. Okay, is that it? The hug and kiss, here we go. Oh, fudge me. There ain't nothing strange about this place at all. These ashfalls are good. That was quick. Huh? <laughs> well, butter my banana and call me a biscuit. We kicking off the member initiation ride so soon. Ah, bring it on, baby. One ninja's more than enough for this game of infiltration. Wait a banana. Is that me? Uh oh. Oh, he's being fed just like us. What are you doing here? Uh, are the consequences of skipping one class that serious? Much? What are you doing here? Previously, the cause of ninjas, a ninja suit is to exception. To defeat evil ninja Osaru, this girl has become the successor to the dazzling ninjutsu. Adopting the code name of Rappa, she began training under Master Kucha. To help Rappa master the secrets of the ninja arts, Master Kucha subjected her to harsh trials. And Rappa, in her quest to liberate the ninja capital from darkness, determinedly endured every test. Master Kucha is aware that Rappa is maturing into a true ninja, and her destined mission will soon unfold. This is for CS of the ninja era, there's in dojo, the ninja capital. I was thinking like, more background story? Ooh, what's this? Ninja Initiate Rapper. Yes, Master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon to defeat the evil ninja and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of Dazzling Ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital. Banish the shadows with ink, and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So you can paint like point stuff too. So, the decision is yours to make. Okay, a while ago. So is it the march or just back to being the main character? You just call me that? Stay awake, but don't fall asleep. March! That's not my name, but whatever. We still can't reach Boot Hill. Do you think we can trust Rappa? This might sound rude, but the only proof of her being a ranger is her peculiar behavior. But her concerns are valid. I also find the sudden obsession with monkeys to be rather uh, unusual. To think of it, ever since we arrived here, the presence of that little monkey has been making me feel a little unsettled. Hmm. Um, uh, and the dean dressed up as a monkey. Let's go and take a look at the classes, shall we? Uh huh? I 
thought all classes were canceled. A Dreamweaving class will start soon at Dreamweaver Academy. It's more part of the anniversary celebrations than it is a regular class. Slumber Nana Monkey's rise in popularity seems quite unnatural. If someone is stirring things up behind the scenes, we need to pay close attention to the actions of the teaching staff. Uh, sure. We have to attend classes sooner or later anyway. Dreamweaving class is at the stage plaza. Let's go take a look. Yeah, let's go much. Okay, now we're going to class. Well, other classes with Firefly too. And what uh, is... Look, Rap is here too. Looks like she's thinking along the same lines as us. I hope so. Hey, Papa! You're mistaken! Utterly mistaken! Slumber Nana Monkey is by no means an ordinary cartoon character! Uh, hey, Banana Advisor. Dreams are the canvas of one's subconscious. Within it, even a banana can carry intricate emotions. Not to mention the Slumber Nana Monkey, adored by countless ripe bananas! Yo! Baseball Pet Ninja! Ninja Ruri! Ninja Hiryu! The Disney Ninja greets each ninja present. The action scenes are supposed, but it's a, a casualty that cannot be ignored by a ninja. You don't need to individually greet everyone. So, are you also here for the class, Miss Rappa? Certainly. Great ninjas think alike. This class dojo seems shady. It harbors feelings. Exercise caution, fellow ninja warriors. Seems like we've got everyone. All right, let's dive right into our academics. Uh, the day bananas has waved her hand. The class building is drawing all the students around. What? Today's session is about decorating the campus to your liking. Here, grab one of these. What? Um, Bananas has the kettle spray paint to students, but you can't fit the weight of this can at all. As if it was empty. The materials that form the dreamscape are completely different from those in reality. And the same theories apply to dream weaving. What you're holding is memetic dye which is made from memoria. Let's use it to decorate this wall. The theme will be everyone's favorite monkey, Slumber Nana Monkey. So this class is about painting? Like art. No, no. Dream weaving is completely different from painting. Let me show you, banana. The dream of being a business spray can. The color is to spray out. The color is designed to glide following the- Oh, how did you paint that so quickly? It's like magic! Hey, we don't think! Calm your mind. Visualize what you want to create. Channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. And there you have it. Your imagination will come to life in the dream. That's dream weaving, banana! I see. <laughs> Banana. Oh no, March is saying it too. Banana. Uh, hmm? Banana, banana, don't worry. Mimetic dye can affect the viewer's emotions. It seems this painting has helped you understand banana gibberish better. <laughs> great. Well, ah, great. That's it for my demonstration. Who would like to give it a try? What is happening? My mouth was running on autopilot. This class definitely seems fishy. I'll go and investigate. Uh, but you'd draw too much attention if you started speaking bananas too, Don Hung. How about he and I go instead? We're not usually that serious, so even if we mess up, it won't stand out too much. Hmm. Uh, let's go. Great. Let's head out. Uh, banana advisor? Uh, we would love to try. Me. <laughs> Me too! Excellent! You can all come up here! Those who excel might even earn some course credits, banana! I hate this. How can I do this? Oh, create my art. Okay, start creating. The present world about the change. Take all your colors. Just think about the mission tiny head. Clutch your dream paint. Tell the excitement. Okay, this will be a present beat that transforms paper for university. To ensure you have no regrets about your youth, you can you must create plans to connect the painting. From color schemes to come to, from the most picture of the smallest detail, from color to design, it deserves not much a system out, not just a day, but an entire year of mostly retirement. 
make your mark on history of dream right, don't start or the class will be over banana. i'm sorry banana unfortunately the clueless monkey entered into dreaming but you do remind you one thing time is always the most precious way so equation you close your eyes begin meditating and shut it of banana device first calm your mind exactly think about the things you bring your peace visualize a beautiful beach you was about the past beach vacation the sound of waves drying on the noise secret curling overheard sunlight warming your skin and a familiar friend handing your car's drink hold on you've never been to the beach where did you maybe come from then visualize what you want to create the banana advisor demands a son of a monkey but you didn't really have to follow in a letter ah! Ah! oh great for some reason, your voice is doubly drawn off of banana bushes and the little monkey. It seems to be a little bit of paint can itself. The sound of the monkey keeps echoing your ears, and the image of the little monkey begins to pierce in your mind. There's a, no chance now. It seems the pain will have to be done. Monkey. Don't give in. This is the mysterious child that I once helped in Satana. She's the son of the little monkey. Long time no see, Outlander. Oh you my god, why are we talking to this? And the king hunter who took away the trash. How could you give in now? Hey, you stinky grippers. Shut it, monkey from another land. You can't just break our destined chain so easily. The power of the king and the monkey battles emerge with you. It want to be challenging into the painting of your fingertips. The scent of the banana in the garbage interval of your nostrils, while two distant images emerge in your mind. Lastly, channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. Like, ah! Everything is ready. Show your talent to leash yourself on the cover of the wall. Can we see what it looks like? Oh, we're making it. I press I. Oh, I'm using one of those. Um, hmm, let's see, let's see. Let's start with. I'm gonna back up. Firefly, back up. Let's start with the bat. There. When you come to sense, your pain of mind is always in the wall. One well, must be, isn't it? Oh, and show to the banana advisor. He's like, what the fuck is this I'm looking at? Banana completed already? Well, it's just in time. Let's assess your work. Ah, what's going on here? Only trash cans? Where's the monkey? Zero points from me! Oh, fuck you, Bonan! Your possession has come to a price. The banana is golden mocking laugh of your priest's echoing eels. You are just trying what you wanted. Do you believe this thing on? Outlander, I'm grateful for the artwork. Yeah, fuck True this guy. dignity lies in staying faithful to what you believe is right. See, you did nothing on. Let's move on to the next student. What in bananas is this? My servant's Jeffrey was is as clean as a whistle, but in front of the huge six piece ice appeared. Help, let me explain. Ninja, six faced ice. Such formidable ice mastery. Ninja Ruri truly proves her might. Well, this dream weaving method feels just like condensing six faced ice. I can barely tell them apart. Th that's impressive, Banana! Weaving such a large object in such a short time is comparable to the work of a pro dream weaver! Wow, Mr. Rekka was telling the truth. I truly am a genius! Uh, I'm giving it a big fat zero. Fuck you! Uh, why? I gave you a theme, and that slumber nana monkey, not this giant useless block of eyes. Even pro dreamweaver monkeys are expected to follow what is requested of them. Uh, what even? The prof nana was just encouraging freedom in the classroom, and you're not even making the slightest effort in your class. You tell them much? You're allowed. And I get to flunk you for that! That's freedom for you! You pay a price for trying to be creative! Now, get back to your seat, banana! Uh, how unreasonable! Oh my god! Going on to the last student! <laughs> Where's your design? Slumber Nana Monkey! Slumber Nana Monkey! Alright, that's enough! Mumbling won't weave you any dreams! You're better off snacking on bananas with that useless trap of yours! Zero points for turning in nothing! Wait, I just need some more time! Even if I did give you all the time in the cosmos, you won't have anything! Not when you're not passionate about Slumber Nana Monkey! Oh, 
You're at the bottom of the class, aren't you? No, not exactly. I was also the second to last a couple of times. Ah, I'm really sick and tired of seeing students like you. A monkey with no talent for climbing will never reach the bananas! Why volunteer only to embarrass yourself? It's better to face reality and give up on this path sooner rather than later, banana! Hmm. Uh, that is over the fucking line! You can't possibly understand the affection in my words! Both you and the other girl have some talent. Unlike her, she has no talent whatsoever to speak of. Pursuing something she can never reach is straying farther from happiness. That's why it's only right to give up, Banana. Oh, I'll just say that. Have you concluded your articulation, sir? Weppa? What did you say? Oh my god, look at that ass! Please, cast your attention this way. Why are you sticking on her ass for a second? What? Who are you? And when did you get here? Wait, what the is this? I present to you the Dazzling Seal. I am eagerly anticipating your appraisal of it, Big Head Feeling. Feel that thought out of your head! Is that permanent ink? This magnificence is conceived by none other than Patissier Ninja Initiate. At that precise instant you turned around, a look of dawning Eureka graced her visage. Inspiration surged through her, and this came to fruition in just 0.1 microseconds. Imperceptible, even with a ninja's hypersight. What under nonsense is that? I know it was you! Cooked salmon cannot swim, just as ninjas never deceive. All Ninja Initiate Patissier needed was a little nudge. I willingly became her paintbrush to aid her in completing her training. Is that fair to say, Ninja Initiate Patissier? Huh? Um, uh... as stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, pythons slither without feet, as manta rays glide without wings. If your decision is firm, don't hesitate to roar with conviction. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I really need to earn my credits. That cheating banana! Big head feeling. Educators impart knowledge, cultivate skills, and clarify doubts. But they must never deny any ninja initiate of their way of the ninja. Uh, yeah, you were being way too mean to her. And my six-phase dice is pretty good, too. You've really but annoyed me, unruly monkey! You barged in here, disrupting my class, and now you're even corrupting my students with ruinous ideas! Get out! Or my iron fists will show you some banana enlightenment! The same goes for you, no good monkey inciters! What's it got to do with us? Hmm. Uh, color punishment is forbidden. Alas, <laughs> the pretense of your tyranny has shattered. With that, a magnificent hunt shall be set in motion. Is she gonna... Give them, sister nanas! Show those unruly what it means to be disciplined! Banana! Okay, looks like we are gonna fight them up. You're not supposed to use violence in the classroom! No, you won't! One way to that. You're happy. It'll work. Although, be careful you do. Try that again. Commencing research. Hey! Smile! Stand still. <laughs> Ooh, action. Uh oh. Back to be angry with the pussy. Executing attack. We are, like why not? I will fight for myself. Until everything. Disadvantage there is if they're happy, they can't attack. Which is hilarious. I shall set the sea ablaze! I told you I could fight. I will do with the big one. Watch this! Because what the fuck? breathing fra? sensation. Say, I know, Firefly. Look at that fucker. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep, they can go. Yes, smack yourself! Okay, they're already dead, but these two I gotta deal with now. Relax. Excuse me. This is more than a battle. Uh, this is fun. I told you I could fight! Fight to go the win! Caught in the net. Wow, you're frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go Firefly, for Firefly, type 4, in flex. position. Aqua Flex! S-Wing! Set the speed of blaze! Commencing research. Uh, pick us this one. Pick Kafka. Do you alt? Stand still. After you file them. Good times never last. Oh, I Time to say bye. Boom. 16k damage, that could be better. Oh, look, he's happy. Oh, you just a man. Why did you do that? Now you get up. You play a Linux. I got child special! No, I'm mad! The battle. Do I kill? <laughs> nah, fist you. Yeah, you get pissed. Hey, look, you're dead. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Damn, I'm so happy. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Are you on the switch? Nice switch. I'm gonna flex on this fucker. Ah! Target Coast stop. Me. Coming through. Relax. Yeah, we got it! Those fuckers don't get a chance. Those are corrupted. Now that you are vanquished at our feet, allow me to recite to you the ninja mantra. Doesn't matter what the rules say. If you bring the violence, then the violence is coming back your way! Alright, girl. You've already crushed it. The university failed to take these net advisors in hand. Please accept my apology for the distress they brought upon you. At least he gets it. Are you perhaps the governor of Paperfold Town? Governor? <laughs> you humor me. I'm merely an educator. Here on our campus, our students are the true masters. I came over after hearing of a ruckus in the dreamweaving class. But it seems like it was the Sweet Dreams troop who went out of control. My apologies once again. Pardon me. But I don't think I've seen you around here before. You're not a student of Paperfold University, are you? I'm only asking because we know a stowaway has recently snuck into Pentagoni. Eyewitness accounts from the Bloodhounds describe someone with pink hair, red attire, and a blazing scarf. And you seem to match that description. No need to beat around the bush, sir. Of course. What I'm trying to say is, if the stowaway is indeed plotting something nefarious, it wouldn't make sense for them to attend classes at Paperfold University. So, I'm certain you're just an inquisitive student. Wait, what? Every banana seedling has the potential to bear fruit. That's why everyone deserves banana enlightenment. Paperfold University advocates freedom in education. So feel free to sit in our classes and be sure to apply yourself. Join me in a round of applause for our new student. New student? I guess? Whoa, did you just try something nice? That's so cool. I'm just found him annoying as fuck. <gasps> Why do you call yourself a ninja? Are there really ninjas on your planet? Um, it's like, I think the place. <laughs> uh, Rappa? Thank you for standing up for me earlier. Um, could you show me how you did that graffiti? I mean, your ninja move? That's for the people! That's ninjutsu I learned by myself. It's hard to teach it to others. But I say with certainty that you will discover your own way of the ninja someday. Oh my god, and here's the monkey walking off. Yes, destiny is no different than a banana peel. Yeah. Like bananas within their peels. 
We can never break free of its encapsulation. Do I see a chest out there? Looks like things blew up real quick. Everyone's flocked here to see what's going on. Yeah. Oh, we're not talking? Okay. Now yeah, let's talk to you. Jeez! Please tell me they're still duking it out with the teacher! Hey, isn't that Montana? Oh, say cheese! And Don Hung and Superstar 2! We meet again! <laughs> um, I came up with that name on the fly, so let's forget about it. Uh, just call me March. Gotcha! You can drop Montana too! I'm now known as Denisovin 426! Um... Denisovin 426? That's right! I finally got into the Slumber Nana Association! The GOAT Club at Paperfold University! And that's my name in the club! Hmm. Uh... What's with Den of Vosniana? I don't know, but it was decided by the club! Maybe members in this tier are more capable! <laughs> the Slumber Nana Association was founded by fans of Slumber Nana Monkey! Our fan base stretches far beyond the campus and includes ripe bananas from all over Panacone! We create fan art and merch based on Slumber Nana, host Slumber Nana cons, and hold a few other off-campus events from time to time! <gasps> Bid you to join us? I can refer you! Oh, wow, that sounds like a lot of fun! Can you get all of us in? Count on me! It's just that the club has a rigorous screening procedure and we only take in a few members each time. If I refer March in, then the two of you... I'll pass. Hmm. Uh... Oh, those always next time, March. Sorry! Okie dokie! This coveted spot will go to March then! Oh, there's an off-campus event happening later today at a supposedly mysterious... Serious location! I can't wait! Great! Uh, let me say goodbye to those two, and then you can show me where to sign up! Yeah, give us a hug. Like, bye! Uh, good job playing along back there, guys. Uh, things are getting weirder, huh? This monkey even has a fan club now. But since we have a way to get into the club, I'll go see what they're up to. Will you be alright on your own? Yeah. It's less suspicious than all three of us joining the club together. Let's split up for now. This way you two can keep an eye on what's going on in the campus. Please, be careful. Aww, I will. Don't worry about me. You too. Catch you guys later. Gives a hug. Okay, now be much. Hmm. I hope she'll be okay. <clears throat> Prof Nano was clearly steering the conversation his way earlier. Let's go find Rappa and hear what she thinks. Oh, nah. huh? What was that? Slumber Nana Monkey. I see a tag on it. P. Lin Ritchie, Fortune Academy. This is the toy you ordered. It looks rather unique. Now it's moving? Um, uh, They ship it out already? You reach out to feel the quality, but the silver money is suddenly and suddenly blocks away. Gah. It ran off. What now? Hmm. Uh. And my eight eight thousand eight k up for the credits. Don't let it get away. All right, let's go get the toy back then. And Does are we gonna chase it? Have a life of its own. Like, come back. Let's do this. Come back. I said! I said stand back! No! Come back, you little shit! Uh, Isn't this the way to the fortune academy? Ah! No! It's still running away! Come back! Oh. Give me a break, miss! I I'll repeat this for the millionth time! I'm not evil! Nor do I sell any gorge row! Nay, ninja initiate merchant! The other initiates have verified that these fiendly puppets are from your shop! Confess at once! Are you under the spell of evil ninja Osaru? Uh... Uh... It's all my understanding. Oh, hey, it's you! Uh, please! Oh my god, I hear the back of music! Hell no! I'm just a well-behaved student working to pay my tuition fees, not whatever initiate she thinks I am! Never mind that. The monkey you sold us keeps running off on its own. Are you sure it's just a toy? Fiendly puppets imbued with life! The epitome of ninja automation! You rich folks are just being unreasonable! 
if, if it were really some high-end stuff, would I be selling it at such a low price? Please, take pity on this poor student. Have a heart. You know, as if squeezing in sales between classes isn't enough, I haven't slept a wink in three days just so I can get this batch of toys ready. Richie? How could you speak so rudely to your customers? Oh, oh, Fortune Banana Advisor. A customer is always right. Do not teach you that. Greetings, dear students. This fiendling assumes the form of an insect-like pest. Clearly a lowly fiendling. Hmm. Monkey bitch. What did you just say? Repeat that if you dare. Uh... Banana advisor, the customer is always right. <laughs> Pardon me. My dear students, you may have some misunderstanding about Fortune Academy's new product. These monkey toys are made this lively so that they bring more emotional value to our young customer. Paperfold University might seem to be an enjoyable place, but beneath their peels, Many students are in fact bogged down by loneliness. You know, struggling to embrace the vibrant energy here in the moment of soul, but also realizing that they're unable to live as the Penaconians do. But the Slumber Nana Monkey is the perfect companion! It won't compete with grades, won't compare itself to you, won't use your things without asking. You can trust it completely! Without worrying about it sharing your secrets with others. Consider it your bestest pal, Nana! Hmm. Um. Any mention of the guards because it'll make me weak in the knees. But my gosh, look at the time! I have to get ready for my dreamscape marketing class! Excuse me, students! I'll take all other questions after class! I, I should get to my class too, but do me a favor, buddies. Just come look for me if you need anything. Let's not involve Banana Advisor again. Yeah, dude. Uh, I doubt he'll say anything more. Let's just follow him and see what we can learn. Banana! Banana! Okay, monkey. Where's he going? Anyways, I'm not gonna find anymore. That's a joke. Did I say? Oh, I did. Oh my god! Is this really a marketing class? Why? It's like a repeat! My goodness! Look, look at Firefly! She's standing there, looking dead in her eyes, going, What am I looking at? Callus, can I get out of here and do something else? Anyway, this is nothing than that. Banana, banana, banana. No! Oh, the sensational belay that's been raking in all the money these days! Bananas, nothing to your way! Worry no more, be happy every day. Now, let's take some time hell. to think about this slogan. What is it about Slum Banana Monkey that allowed it to spark a banana frenzy in Pinnacle? How about that gray-haired student? Wait, what are you doing here? Oh, I, never mind. You can answer the question, man. Okay. Because we wants to live like Slum Banana Monkeys. Bingo! To live a happy life! Yeah, play along. That is exactly the pain point of Penaconian consumers. Both rich and poor alike come to Penaconi in the hope of leading a more fulfilling life. Unfortunately, a couple of days in the dreamscape is all it takes for them to realize this is nothing more than a fantasy. Dream chasers soon give in to exhaustion, and tourists eventually grow weary from the endless festivity. Those famed tycoons and festive superstars that we pursue lead lives we can never hope to experience. So dramatic, eventful, and out of this world. But Slum Banana Monkey epitomizes a wholly different lifestyle. Sleeping and snacking on bananas without a care in the world. This is what pure happiness should be. Banana, 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 banana. I have just the thing to help all of you understand this better. Fortune Academy students get a bonus discount when purchasing this special model of the Slum Banana Monkey toy. Banana Advisor, I sold everything from the last batch. That's fantastic news. We underestimated Slum Banana Monkey's popularity. Come with me, Richie. I'll, I'll get you more stock. 
Oh boy. Oh, so funny. So the Fortune Academy is supposed to promote these toys. Can we turn that shit off? Why did they rope students into their? I want to play 2010s being what? Banana. Banana. Hmm. It's a shame we don't understand its banana gibberish. Oh, I have an idea. Can you use clockwork on it? Ooh, let me try. I'm counting on you, banana. <clears throat> yeah, you just just say banana, okay? Anyways, I got this. Anyways, uh, I don't like this shit. Uh, uh, uh Kafka? I can't do anything about it. Uh, just do your ding, March. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna. Ooh, chest. Maybe another one. I don't even notice this. But never let your guard down. I probably did saw it, but I didn't check it out real quick. Anyways, firefly. Just... Sorry, dude. There's just a little monkey show sad obsession. Which seems unusual because the monkey has seems always happy. Uh, here comes the clockwork. Uh, what if I make you angry? What does that look like? I'm just curious. On the spell clockwork, the little leaf begin making angry banana bush sounds. <laughs> the more you shut the deal, the dial, you seem to earn it with the anger. You seem to discipline the report card and even more just paycheck. It looks the flush of the young face. Before you could process the emotion, it little more if it dashed into this distance. Wait, did it's it run away? Huh. Seems to be leading us somewhere. Well. Let's catch up. Why does it feel like I've been on a wild monkey chase all day? Good, I don't want to deal with that thing again. Yay, no more boy music from the 2020s. Okay. Now we're just gonna keep jogging. Good fly, fly. Flashing us by accident. It's Ninja Initiate Merchant. They say stop looking! Link pest. Uh, Fortune Banana Advisor? Aren't we supposed to pick up more stock? I don't see anything here. Jeez. Dreamweaver Banana Advisor said he'd get a new batch ready. Looks like they can't rely on him, but not taste. By the way, Banana Advisor, did those people willingly become monkeys? Of course, Richie. Can't you see how happy it is being a monkey? The hell? <laughs> I... I... Guess not. I take it you haven't been paying attention in class, huh? Or did those guest students plant unrealistic ideas in your head again? Do you have the slightest idea about the backgrounds of those nameless? You're just a poor student from a faraway fringe planet, one that relies on the IPC for aid. Do you really think you can compare yourself to them? I know I can't measure up to those bigwigs, but there are things I hope to achieve too. I get it. You're aiming to make a lot of money. After all, the sky-high tuition fees at Paperfold University can really take a toll on the average middle-class family. Oh, I heard your father came to Patagonia too. Oh, he's been working day and night ever since taking up a new job at Dawn Factory, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, but no, how touching. How, how did you know that? Bana, bana. He swung by a few days ago to check on how you're doing. I took the time to chat with him. Looking at how old he is, my heart really went out to him. Throwing in most of his life savings, only to slog his guts out in a foreign land. I could sense his exhaustion and distress. So, I instilled in him the tenets of our banacademics, convincing him that becoming a slum banana monkey is the right thing to do. Oh, that's right. He's in the batch of toys that you just delivered. What? Ooh, quite a turn of events, huh? It's probably trying to tell us something. What? How could you? Yep, they're evil. But uh, Could it be the father of Ninja Initiate Merchant? Merchant Chief? Why? Because your dad was simply too tired. I asked if he ever had regrets, and he said no. But when I stripped away that banana peel facade, what I found was the expulsion warning letter. Of course, but no! Why didn't I realize this sooner? You're a hopeless student. <laughs> Rather than squandering our educational resources on you, why did you become one of Fortune Academy's products? At least scrape some work out of yourself, but <laughs> I assured your 
father that you'll get to be happy like him. It's time for you to rest, Richie. Why did you Okay, that sounds this? like, um... What the animatronics of Fries and Freddy's? Why keeping up the struggle if you've already given up, Dad? <sighs> Dad... There's nothing else keeping me going. Why not? No. Something's happening to Richie! We have to stop him! Yep, time to go. Uh, Marge? Got it! Boom! Didn't work. He dodged. Marge! Feeling pest! What tricks did you pull on Ninja Initiate Merchant? Yeah! How did a ninja get in here? Hmm. Uh, back up. Being this close is bad for- wait, no. Get your hands off his ass now! I have no hands to begin with, Banana! Hold your banana, students! Allow me to explain myself. I was only trying to help relieve those pitiful kids of their suffering! Letting them enjoy the rest of their happy life from a different perspective. And maybe make some extra cash while I'm at it. But this isn't anything new in Panacone. You may have your esteemed background and a never-ending supply of credits, but that's not the case for my students. All I did was offer a better alternative. One that both father and son willingly took up. Seems like a fair and banal worthy deal, wouldn't you say so? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, sizzling yakitori knows not refreshing ice, as chilled sashimi knows not blazing fire. If Ninja Initiate Merchant has indeed chosen the way of the Fiend, it is not my place to intervene. But not jeez! I didn't count on you being this reasonable. Your words alone will not suffice. Ninja Initiate Merchant, is this truly your intention? Bana? He does not seem capable of a response. Merchant Chief, is this a willing decision of yours? Uh, Bana? Deceitful feeling. You spoke with a forked tongue. They can't prove a word of your claims. Gone. Banana! Human language. In that case, your calling is to render those in misery blind and deaf? Oh, utter absurdity! The path to hell is paved with heavenly treasure. Devil's trying to fool you better, get your head together. The hunters hide greed with a welcoming smile. Don't be beguiled, it could be your last smile. Oh, you're rapping! Such That's what it sounds not like. fall upon the ensnared ninja initiate, but the trap's orchestrator ought to be punished. I beckon the ninja hunt upon you! Say your final words, feedling pest! A banana was that! Assistant others! Beat her to a pulp! Oh, nah ah! Uh, nah uh. ah! Oh chance god. Those banana advisors are actual facts, members. Just what is your goal? Yeah, what is your goal? You got this. Try that again. Go, Marge. You got it. If that hurts you, Marge, we're going down too. Go away. Oh, so you good. can't run. Commencing research. I'm gonna swing at you. Excuse me. Coming through. The main course. Stand still. The main course. I'm gonna flex, Kafka. Just swing for your fly. Is it okay? Okay, I swing. Not turn. yet. I'm gonna save it first. Uh, I should shield people now. Who has the lowest one? March. With me out here, how can we lose? You sure us how much a pie the way I build him. That's kinda weird. Hey, swing. <laughs> They're not getting mad. Oh, uh, look, use energy. But now you're pissed. Oh, now you're pissed off. Flex and cuff stop. Oh, you're pointing at mommy. Never mind, now you're pissed. And now you're pissed again. And you're pointing a fire flag. Perfect. Now's my chance. Uh, let's swing all of them. Relax. Make them happy. Stop. Including this one. You have the worst you luck get fist. Think that though. What do you all okay. One, two, three. Like Firefly, I will fight for myself. Well, flex. Until everything burns to ashes. Gotta try it. 
try hard sometimes. Tyler, please. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Holy Good shit, times bro. never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Uh oh. They went way out. He said the bring on word from Among Us. Target specimen sight. Dude, he's supposed to help me. Too late. Stand still. He got up. Yep, they're both almost dead. Like Sambo is being fucked! Yeah. To fight! Fight! How'd you live? <laughs> yep, you're gone. Nice! Okay, March, go ahead. Linux! Pickaxe! And you've been shocked to death. Good! Resorting to sorcery to turn ninjas into feedlings? Ugh, dreadfully horrid. <sighs> Looks like he completely malfunctioned. Huh. Something's awry. I believe I should have held back in the ninja battle just now. Perhaps someone is controlling these feedlings behind the scenes. Most likely. Uh... I didn't hold back, though. No matter. The feedling deserves its rightful punishment. Ninja initiate merchant, though. Nah. What? Oh god, now he turns into a monkey. Seeing a digital monkey on the ground, you realize that Richard has already transformed into a weird ass monkey during the first battle. <laughs> the two little monkeys got together, making fetch affectionate babble ninjas. They can't bring us into this harmful thing between father and son. He's like, Dad, why am I black? Uh, I don't know, but I'm normal. Ninja initiate merchants succumb to their sorcery. He is expected to be out of action for a while. <sighs> Miss Rappa. Can we talk about why the rangers came to Penaconi now? Did you pick up on something, Ninja Hiryu? <sighs> Even though I had doubts before, it was only when I saw this that I felt sure of it. The sworn enemy of the Galaxy Rangers. The horrific scientist who transforms humans into monkeys. The evil ninja Osaru you spoke of. It's Dr. Primitive, isn't it? What? Suit. Evil Ninja Osaru. It's definitely Evil Ninja Osaru. Uh, is Doctor purposely obsessed with bananas? <sighs> Member number sixty-four of the Genius Society, Doctor Primitive. No one knows his real name, but his atrocities are infamous throughout the cosmos. <sighs> the most horrifying one of all has to be his. Atavistic experiment. The dozens of worlds he caught up in this experiment were mostly home to prosperous interstellar civilizations. But every single one of these planets was reduced to a regressed form of intelligence by the time he was done with them. Intellitrons deteriorated into mere machines. Zatskas regressed into birds. And even the most ubiquitous human civilizations were subjected to the same fate. Millions of apes and monkeys now wander amidst the ruins that they once called home. Hmm. If Dr. Primitive is indeed behind this, we must alert the Astral Express and the family at once. We won't be able to avert this crisis on our own. Facing such an amoral emanator of erudition, even the slightest of negligence could bring unimaginable consequences. Your analysis is accurate. However, in my humble opinion, now may not be the best time to call the Harmony Shogunate for aid. Not even, um, Robin? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when the net is cast for a catch, ready yourself to land a fish or forgo your net. With evil Ninja Osaru lurking in the shadows, and our locations not yet compromised, I suggest laying low to avoid alerting the monkeys. Rest assured, I've delegated Silver Gun Shira to investigate the Forbidden Ground. Being the chivalrous and exceptional ninja hero he is, I have faith Silver Gun Shira will accomplish the assigned mission. At this juncture, our priority is to rescue the ninja initiates of Paperfold Town. What 
ninja heroes would we be if we left those defenseless initiates to the monkeys? If we don't rescue those before us, how can we hope to save the world? Indeed. We must not leave the students to fend for themselves. There you are! I finally found you, my beloved talents! So it's who I think it is? Ninja Gamma! Oh, <laughs> I see this Mr. actor Rekka. is creative with her words. Mr. Rekka? Um, do you need our help with something? Ah, yes! Charmony Academy is filming a promotional video for their anniversary, but the Banana Advisor hasn't found anyone that makes the cut. That's why I'm here, to recruit students with greater acting potential like you. A big shot with a brilliant past. And you, a superstar that everyone will have their eyes on. And this actress with personality. Please, join us in the performance. Considering how Charmony Banana Advisor's a creator of the Slum Banana Monkey, I believe only young and talented people such as yourselves <clears throat> We'll be the ones to catch her discerning eye. Uh huh. I see. Thank you for thinking so highly of us, Mr. Rekka. We'll make sure to drop by. That's the way. You will be at the photography studio. See you later. Well, if we don't Germany go. Germany Banana Advisor must be in league with the mastermind behind this. And I can't help but feel like there's more than meets the eye with Mr. Rekka. I Most concur likely. with you. Ninja Hiryu is a punctilious ninja indeed. Vanos! Anyways, bye Vanos. Open the gate! Oh god, why is there a dinosaur heel? Anyways. Banana! Banana! Fail! 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 You didn't capture stubborn banana monkeys! Five parts laziness, three parts cuteness, and two parts playfulness at all! <sighs> but I'm already doing the best I can, Charmony Banana Visor! It's so hard to play a monkey. <gasps> An utter disappointment to the monkeys. Yo, dinosaur. <gasps> Maybe we should change the cast. Acting skills alone won't cut it. They need to adore Slumber Nana with every fiber of their being. Banana. Charmony Banana Advisor, I have a few candidates here. <laughs> Perhaps they will be to your liking. Hmm. Ooh. Festival Superstar, I went into fucking wall! Oh? They seem to have potential. They may have been I hope you don't leave me disappointed. Hmm. Are you a racist? Because she's black. Is this evil fiendling a dragon or a monkey? Monkey? No, I mean, uh, I'm a Charmony Banana Advisor. <sighs> How wonderful it is to have been scouted by Mr. Rekka. Have faith in a professional director's judgment. Have your scripts ready, actors. Show the banana advisor what you're capable of. Alright, am I gonna read the whole thing? Doesn't seem that long though, actually. The League of Slum Banana Monkey. Now, later. Every year of the Penal Universe is grand to be taking place. They always stay on anniversary. For centuries, this event has put you without interruption. However, this year, the Dreamlight Emphasis faces an unexpected challenge. The Monthly Memory Zone meme, Stress, has appeared to on campus, casting a shadow of excitement over the student. Delivering the Dark Forces, a brave little monkey leaps into action. Banana! 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 Ah, oh, it's the brave monkey! Willing his banana, magic sword, he's a boy on a quest against the stressed devil. Meanwhile, the stressed devil is willing to have on campus, shredding the student's confidence. The villainous monkey can no longer stand out of the and conflict the devil. Banana! 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 Say something to insult the monkey. The malicious cuss the stressed devil, for potato and the brave monkey is defeated. Uh, banana! Banana! Nah, nah! It's the darkest hour, the most religious slumber monkey, the wise monkey appears. Uh, banana, 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 Guided by the wise monkey, the brave monkey was in the funny spirit, but the wise monkey was in the mind. His comfort is stressed the adult was so more. Sixteen to the monkeys. Banana, banana, banana. This time, the brave monkey loses a move by the moment of his words. Eventually, the stressed devil falls to the brave monkey's sword. All soon, the stressed bird departs. Joy and freedom returns to campus once more. Banana, 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 banana. Eat bananas, nap the day away. Will no more be happy every day? The end. Why is there any monkey gribblish, actually? Why, some banana monkeys are star. What else were you expecting? Meows and woofs? 
Oi, oh, Araras? Let's assign the actors to their roles then. The leading role of Brave Monkey shall be... Mr. Rekka, I, I, I want to try this role again. Vanilla! Ooh, your earlier performance was disappointing enough. It's fine. Let's give this proactive actress one more shot. Brave Monkey is known for its can-do attitude, too. Next up is Wise Monkey, who guides Brave Monkey. Your disposition makes you perfect for this role, Don Hung. As you wish. And finally, we have the villain, the Devil of Stress. Where am I evil? I'm confident you'll nail it, superstar. <laughs> Uh, for real? Me as a damn villain? The role of a conflicted villain requires sublime acting. An improvised lines further demand a robust foundation in the art. You are the only one who can take on this most challenging role. Not so fast. What role do I play? Oh, it seems all the roles have been assigned. Uh, but yes, we'll need someone to... Narrate, Rapa, the Rapa could narrator. Do it. This is your role. A lofty ninja hero relegated to the likes of a narrator? <sighs> so be it. We'll begin once everyone's ready. The assistant director's camera is ready to roll. Alright, if you say so. Okay, let's just do it right now. I want to see how it goes. Oh my god, why am I so close? <laughs> it's like you're stroking me! Ah! Are you ready? Then get on stage! Mr. Rekka, get the cameras rolling, Banana. Yep, okay. Actors, take your positions. Three. Who goes here, Chess? Two. One. Action! Dreamscape's glowing, gold hall's flowing, a legendary feast about to get going. Uh. Oh, stop! Oh, what, Banana? Are you reciting? Why are you laughing? This is the ninja mantra. Embellishing words with ninja enchantments is bound to make the play a hundred times more vivid. <sighs> I knew this student wasn't reliable. Forget it. Focus on slumber nana monkey only. Nothing else matters. Then I'll continue. From the hearts of men, monsters arise. The banquet turns the scorched earth laughter to cry. Oh, a passing yes. hero lends a hand. <laughs> no surprise. I'm up next. I have to come up with something obnoxiously conceited. Okay. A swell word? I wanna hear it. I finally get to make a banap banap appearance. <laughs> all you banap <laughs> students are a banap banap bunch of losers. No, that's all you're yeah, saying. Yeah. Go ahead, banap, remember that. That I banap banap cussed at you, banap. <laughs> your own banap banap. Paperfold University. What I said was, I finally get to make a fucking appearance. All, all of your. Goddamn students are a piece of sh shit, bunch of losers, I guess he said. Yeah, go ahead and fucking remember that. I will, um, fucking cuss at you. Um, actually, I don't know what he'll say, but that's funny. Fail! That's plain crass! Did you mean that's funny? Banana! Banana! Fail! Brave monkey! That's really good! The fuck you mean? University. It would never. Utter such dainty banana gibberish. So sorry, banana. Let me try that again. Banana, banana, banana. Suffering and pain, the fruits of blind hate. A hero draws a sword, ready for the fight to break. Banana, banana. You're messing it up again. Oh God. Brave monkey hasn't gained the power to defeat the devil of stress at this point. How can it possibly have so much grit? So, so sorry, banana. I'll try again. Banana, banana. It's my turn now. I should say something demeaning to Brave Monkey. Can I? Wait, more, more cuss words? No, sure. Little banana, banana. Piece of shit. <laughs> Give up on that banana, banana. Fucking act. Or I'm gonna banana, banana you upside down. Beat the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, mighty eon of the hunt! Such vile tongue lashing, surpassing that of even evil ninja's aspidious curse. Fail. If I hear one more swear word from you, you'll be penalized for breaking the school rules. But it's funny! <laughs> Bana, Bana. The heroes down and out defeat hanging in the air, but in walks the master with wisdom to share. Come on, Dehan. 
Bana. Bana bana. <laughs> Seal effort. Bana bana. He's still done. You! Your lines are fine. He gets the praise! Go on. Next line. How come we don't? <sighs> Thanks for quenching her wrath, Don Hong. The master's wisdom resonates to his core. The hero's blade sharper than ever before. Yesterday's loser is back in the fight. Fight or flight, evil doers think twice. It's my turn again. This time, I'll say something to taunt Brave Monkey. Hey, more cuss words. Banab, banab. Piece of shit. <laughs> Back here looking for your banab again. God damn. <laughs> See how I banab, banab, banab. Are you? Kick your ass. Oh, well, he said. This sort of aggression. Silver Gun Shira's words before they were sealed must have been just as fierce as yours. Oh, go through and through. Fail. Banab, banab. Oh, fail, fail, fail. <sighs> Stop filming, Miss Sereka. None of them are cut out for portraying our beloved monkeys, but now. Wait! Please just give me one more! Second chances don't come around that often, girl! Please, I'm begging you! Being in one of Mr. Rekka's films is my dream! Um, don't say that. If you want my opinion, there's nothing amiss with Ninja Nishiyaka Gaku's acting. In fact, you are being overly critical of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. You think? Are you the banana advisor who grades her work, or the director who assigns her roles? It's up to me to assess my students' worth in this class. <sighs> Let's stop filming, Mr. Rekka. We need to swap out the actors. Uh, stop! I, no, not yet. The show still isn't over. He's enjoying uh, this. Get it going. Not this again. It feels like I'm in a dream. Like fuck. Are you all right? But. Oh no. Oh. Bina. 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 Looks like the Bina academics is taking effect. Uh oh. What is this plot twist that's happening? I saw all the forces who saying this, I'm probably having fun with this. Bobbin! We need you! Congratulations, students! Thanks to Slumber Nana Monkey, you'll soon be qualified actors! Oh. Just as I thought, this is yet another snare laid down by the evil ninja. Why are you still lucid? Oh, truly an incorrigible student! Nay, dinosaur fiendling! Your feeble sorcery stands no chance against my dazzling ninjutsu! Watch me snap everyone back to their senses! Hiya! Dazzling palm, I just chop! Ooh, hey, what about Dundas? Oh, my dick is hard for some reason. Did you just jump me off? The old power ninja voice snug into your forehead once more, snapping you out of the day, judging by your reason sounds of impact. Uh, 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 oh, 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 I'm breaking my senses. Ah. Uh, Ow! Oh, what, what happened? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, the stone heart of a ninja is immune to pressure, immune to lies, come wind, rain, or shine. <sighs> Never forget who you truly are, Ninja Nishikigaku. Uh, are we on to another film now? <gasps> Is this going to be about ninjas? No, but we've come to the climax of the film. Just a small swap among the roles. <laughs> Charmony Banana Advisor, you're up for the villain this time. What are you even? I said to stop filming. Stop filming! Cut! When you're on my set, I am the director. Come on now, dear actors. Let's salvage this lousy film with an electrifying fight scene. Huh. Great ninja minds think alike. <laughs> so we're gonna... I agree. So we're gonna kill him? Uh, yes! My favorite kind of episode! Unruly 
students insist on disrupting my class, you're in for some corrective bananishment. Teach them a lesson, Assistant Anna. From this very moment, back down, retreat. The hero says never. The way of the ninja burning in their heart forever. With fiending blood, the sword of justice will be stained as the school will cast off every shackle, every chain. Hey! Do I really have to fight too? Um, no. Okay, all the kills. These guys got is corrupted. Just cover us! No. Happy news! All nonsense! Uh -oh. The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect! Oh yeah, the weapon fireflies, she gets missing a shield. Uh oh. Stay calm now, Link. I should probably stuck here. Stand still. Hey, you! You big ho! I'm gonna reflex on you. You keep standing my legs like that. I hate you! hurts. Come on, be happy! It's such a refuses. My turn. Okay, why don't you go first? How can we lose? Don't push you. Fine. Fine. Damn, she can't even turn to eat, turn happiness. Oh shit, I gotta start healing. Actually, wait, these guys are happy. Okay, that's good. Nice. I'm gonna... Yeah, stomp on you. Relax. Are you happy? Oh, you are. Happiness has a bard. Okay. Let's do far away. one, two, three, two. It's like hitting all of us. Why are you drunk to school, kid? This is medicine! You're too good. I got you a I will fight for myself. Until everything burns to ashes! Gotta try hard sometimes. Okay, freeze them all. Check out this awesome move. Good times None of those. never last. Okay. Time else. to say bye. It hurts, huh? Boom. Firefly, type 4, in position. Let's go. I shall set the speed of light! Oh, look, you gave us. Okay, now. Well, extra damage, which is the bad move, you know why this happens. <laughs> I was stronger, let's do this. Fight. Fight you live. I told you I oh, could fight. Look. Stay right there while I give you a present. Okay, Linux. Um. Stand still. Back up. Oh, back to oh, Thousand was dead. Hey, much gets the face. What happened? Attack boost. That's not as my move to do. This is more than a battle. Hmm. I shall. I'll But... Time for something savory. Thanks. You're too good to me. Much gone. Try that again. Oh look, your friend is dead. May as well kill them all. Hey, gone. Hey, and now it's you alone. This is, this is like a boss fight we're doing now. You can't. Linux, you need a shield. You're next. With me oh, out Linux. here, how can we lose? Okay, fist them. Relax. Commencing research. Oh, Pickaxe. <laughs> Mining away. Uh oh. Fist them. Uh, 
bad, but look at us. You can't run. Okay, uh, Firefly, you need a shield. Try that again. If he gets to me, how do you know it's coming? That breathing sensation. <laughs> okay, Firefly. Stay right there, while I give you a present. Shield buffed. Pickaxe. Stand still. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, this is annoying. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, I do this for a while, holy damn. You can't run. Who's doing that? Really sneeze it. Try that again. Okay, shield with the child. Here, how can we lose? May as well kill them all. Okay, this won't take him. long. Go ahead. Okay. Stop. Okay, I have to fist him. That's fine, actually. Relax. Perfect. I'm gonna wait until five plus ultra, so I can do all ultra just now. Fist, use the legs. Time for something savory. Support received. Pretty much. Stay right there while I give you a present. Ice fire, that's try hard sometimes. And actually healing Check that yet. Awesome move. But I've been looking out for a boss fight. If you would, that'd heal immediately. Oh look! Like firefly. She falls in! Until everything burns to ashes! Good times never last. Go, Captain. Time to say bye. Boom. Firefly, I shall set the seas of flames! She's like, ugh. <laughs> Swing. Fight. Fight, you live! Ooh, look at your HP though, you are going down. Target. Stand still. Stop being a piss monkey. You're annoying! Ooh. You can't stop! Ooh! So that's right! With me out here, how can that's we That's my point! All right, this won't take long. Keep swinging. We kill, kill the mother. Thanks. You're too good to me. Fist. Relax. Yeah, you're hurt. More boost damage. Oh, now you're pissed. Commence. It don't matter. Oh, now you come, your senses. What's gonna happen? Yeah, you fucked. You you're fucked. Come on, your HP is getting low. Damn! Marsh is going run. real on this one. Target specimen sighted. Preparing uh, for clutch. Time for something savory. Oh, thanks a lot. Join it. Oh, you almost already. Okay. Right Shoot there, firefly. Give you a present. Wait, I'm about to die. Oh shit. Okay, shot. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. Pickaxe, child. Coming through. Relax. Oh, combination with Kafka. Nice. 
Okay. Wicked tongues, wicked lies, all of them destroyed. Say goodbye to evil plot strategies and ploys. The life of the party, savior of the school. Let's hear it for the hero here to keep it cool. <sighs> Ninja Nishika Gaku, deliver your final line. Uh, for now. Oh, scratch that. Evil thing. Your vile words cannot bring Ninja Initiate Gagaku down. It's victory for us ninjas. Hooray! Yeah. Um, huh. This one has ceased operating as well. It's as if some unseen puppeteer cut its strings. Hmm. Um. Okay, sweet genius troop got to up the game. Ninja Gamma, can you kindly enlighten us on the proceedings thus far? <sighs> <laughs> so you actors have caught on. <laughs> Let me reveal the next act in the plot then. We'll be exploring the misdeeds going down at Paper Fold University. All right now, dear actors. Ever heard of a memetic virus? Is that what Slumber Nana Monkey is? You're right. Memetic corruption comes about from the dissemination of data. It alters particles of information picked up by the cognitive module, skewing the sensory perception of certain objects in those that have been corrupted. Much like special effects in a film. Words, songs, videos, these are all mediums of transmission. Humans naturally have a curiosity for the unknown. And memetic viruses take advantage of this. Memetic corruption is known to influence one's thoughts even in the real world. And in the dreamscape, they catalyze nightmares that corrupt humans into monkeys. Hence, the evil ninja instructs the evil fiendlings to spread through media, masking it as entertainment to implant the seeds of dark sorcery in the hearts of the ninja initiates. Misappropriating the role of Actual educators gave them the perfect chance to mangle the minds of innocent ninja initiates, only to hasten the growth of those fiendish seeds they sowed. And so, all ninja initiates of Paper Full Town will succumb to fiendishness, becoming puppets of the evil ninja. What a despiteous, degenerate, and dastardly ploy! Uh, what are you talking about? Are these lines in the script? This actor's lines may be somewhat cryptic, but yes, the general plot direction is on point. But, Ninja Gama, why are you bogged down by an action when you've long realized the truth behind their pretense? I'm just a director that stumbled upon a sinister plan. A reckless move on my part can bring dire consequences. It is up to very important stars like you to defeat that hell kite of a villain. These banana advisors were appointed by the acting dean, Prof Nana. I believe I don't have to make this any more explicit. Go to the dean's office to find the answers you seek. Oh, and keep me updated on how the plot unfolds. Oh, what about my part? Do I still have any scenes coming up? You're keen about appearing in my films, aren't you? Come over here and choose a script! C can I really? <gasps> Thank you so much! My the castle God. showdown looms ahead of us, fellow ninjas. We ought to make haste with ninja speed. Ninja speed, huh? Um, anyway, I'm actually gonna stop it there. Oh, well, I'm gonna go there. My subscriber, see you later. Sayonara.